What is up guys, I'm bringing you some Nuketown Zombies gameplay, but this gameplay I'm going to show you how to survive Nuketown Zombies if it's your first time. Now if you always, if you wonder what Nuketown Zombies is, this is after Nuketown 2025. Um, what I mean by that is after Nuketown 2025 blew up uh, uh, from the nuke, this is what happened. Uh, right now I just looked at the population, it does go up to 99, when you kill the 99 zombies it goes back down. Uh, so yeah, first things first, you always want to use your knife. The knifing gets you more points, and the more points, the better. Uh, so once you find the zombies, just knife the living crap out of them. Only on round one. Round two does get a little tricky. Um, so yeah, now if you want to go into this garage area, you want to check to see if the quick revive is in here. I do not buy a quick revive in this uh, gameplay, uh, because I didn't want to. So yeah, now you want to buy an M14. An M14 will definitely help you until like round 5 or round 4, one of those two. Uh, it doesn't matter, whatever floats your boat. Um, I usually go up to round 4. Now you want to start shooting the zombies, picking them off, um, so you can get some points. If you want a knife, that's okay. Uh, if I suggest knifing on easy mode uh, for round 2, just because... Yeah, so now if you see right here, I'm going to be looking at a thing that's falling from the uh, mushroom cloud. I believe that's the Pack-a-Punch, because if you see later in the video, I go back to the, the back of the house, and you see the Pack-a-Punch. Now I'm, I'm in here, and I go by a store for a thousand. Yes, it's a lot of points, but it's a good choice. Now you always want to buy one weapon from the random box, because usually the random box weapons are always powerful, unless if you get like a crossbow or something. Uh, so I get this good shotgun. And now, once you have a good weapon, start killing some zombies. Uh, you can go out on the open and run around a little bit. Um, I will say this, Nuketown Zombies is extremely hard in the higher rounds. Now, once you get enough points, go back to the random box, and... Um, buy another random box weapon. But my best tip for this part is always reload after you kill zombies. Uh, why? Because you don't know how much zombies are going to take, how many bolts they're going to take. Um, you always want to reload after you kill a zombie. That's what I do. If you don't like this tip, you don't have to do it. But if you uh, only have 10 bolts in an assault rifle, they, they might not take those 10 bullets. You never know. Uh, but with this shotgun, it, it's okay if you don't reload the shotgun, I understand, because shotguns are usually one hit, one kill. Now I want to get rid of the M14, just because the M14 is not going to help me anymore, so I get a light machine gun. And now, if you ever get crowded by a whole bunch of zombies, just perform a rape train. Very simple. All you need is a light machine gun and you're good. Now once you see a max ammo, which you don't get a lot in this map, re reload all your weapons, and then go pick it up. And then save the nuke for a little bit later. When it starts flashing, then you can pick it up. Um, so yeah, and what else? Once you have enough points, uh, pack a punch weapon, and you'll be good. Now, when you're going, you're going to see this right here. You're going to see a perk behind this doorway. Do not buy this door. It is 3,000 points. You do not want to do this. Do not buy this door or the truck in the middle, even though there's four weapons inside that you can buy off the wall. Do not buy those two. You won't buy the uh, doors all around the place, like in the house and upstairs to run around. Uh, it's going to save you... A lot of stress from the zombies uh, chasing after you. You have more place to run. And then if you're really in deep trouble, you can buy that truck in the middle, run straight through it. That could help you if you wanted to, but I suggest not to. Uh, I said pack a punch my light machine gun. So I hope you guys enjoyed these tips. I hope it's going to help you. And as always, um... Well, let me know in the comment section below. Are you enjoying Black Ops 2? I, if you see my previous video, I think this is the best Call of Duty of all time. I'm enjoying multiplayer. I'm enjoying everything. A little tea bag right there. But let me know in the comment section below. Uh, do you like Black Ops 2? And as always, please like the video if you enjoyed it. Uh, favorite it. Share it. And subscribe for more Call of Duty Black Ops 2 videos. And I will see you guys next time.